Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 27 of Haven Cave Blocks. That is correct, folks. We made it to episode 27, and we have the final creative stuff made this episode. So let's jump into this episode and see how it's done. Yay! All right, guys, let's get into this. Uh, first thing I want to do is get three more deployers real quick. And I'm just going to set these guys here with, uh, what are they called? Um, I... No, that wasn't it. Uh, depots. That's it. Depots. Depots. Oh, wow. I've never uh, taught this how to make the depots. Okay. Well, guess what? Now it knows how to make the depots. And these guys will get... Um, I need a stack of uh, small cogs, large cogs, and iron ingots. Iron nuggets, that's it. I hand this to him, this to him, and this to him. Now, we're going to need gold plates and what we will do with these is we're going to set these guys here and go along making precision that, uh, Precision mechanics that we're going to be needing. I'm going to do this very as quick as we can. I think this is the last pass with all of these. Okay, yeah, we got two of these precision mechanisms. Okay, we're also going to need some large cogs. Yeah, we need some small, some large cogs for this. Like I said, the very first one we're going to make is this precision motor. We're going to need some turbine casings. Okay. Thinking this is the one that we're going to need it from. Uh, some insanium blocks. It's a good thing that we can pretty much request whatever we want from our tablets. And some shafts. So we already had the shafts. Okay, so this recipe is what? Three, six, nine long. I think five tall. Which, if you remember at the end of the last episode, we did extend this out to being that. I want to put the turbine casings like this our uh, shafts right here. Right. Uh, it looks like along this back wall, some insanium. What else? Uh, our precision, our first precision, mm, I can say it, precision mechanism and two large cogs. 
just need to fill in the rest of this. Just double checking to make sure I got that right. That looks all correct. We hit this button and we'll see here. And what did we do wrong? I'm not sure what we did wrong. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this all was turbine casings from we have turbine casings from mechanism generator. So that's all correct. These two were shafts. This was in a pattern like so. Okay, so it must have been something in that three area here. Sanium blocks. The ultimate research. Those guys, right? Yeah, that all looks right, so this should now be correct. It worked this time. And now we have a creative motor right here. So we could actually uh, take these guys off. Set this up here. And on the side, we see 16 here. Click. We can raise this up to 255, which does make that spin so fast. It's kind of a, kind of funny. Um, so we've got the creative motor done. The next creative item I want to make is this one. Uh, we're going to need some compact machines maximum. Can, can we request compact machines maximum? No. Okay, so did we ever teach this how to make compact machines? At compact. Uh, teach you how to make this. Okay, so you don't know how to make a compact machine. Okay, so we'll teach you this. And this goes in here. This goes in here. Yep, in here. And we tend to say compact machines. We're going to need four of these guys. We're going to need four of them for this. And blaze cakes. Blaze cakes uh, requires lava uh, with a spout. So let's let's see a spout. Spout.
Okay, we do not have copper casing. Copper casings is just scripts of uh, wood, which we'll just need to go oak. Get one of these guys. Uh, we go copper with one of these guys. Set this down, strip it. Oh, wait, no. I uh, hit you with that. Now we can get the spout. Okay, so now we have the spout taught to it. Now we need uh, one of these mechanical press. A uh, basin, which it looks like we don't have taught to this system. We'll come over here to this right here. Set this guy down here. And we need cinder flour which we don't have any cinder flour, but we can get it with a pulverizer. So let's uh, request a pulverizer. Um, just temporary. It's all temporary now. We're soon going to be permanently out of this hole. Which it was a very fun pack, guys. Um, getting to the creative wasn't as stressful as other packs we've done recently. All right, so cinder flower. Uh, we're going to need how many for this? The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so 14, 20. 20 cinder flowers. Twenty cinder flowers. Uh, I'm gonna put these mana pools and this stuff away. And pull it onto the essence of Haven and the saturating condensers. That uh, that can go away. Eggs and sugar. I do not know why this does not have a EMC. So it has three things that have EMC. So we're going to take 20 of these, toss them in there. 20 sugars, toss them in there. Ooh. Okay. 20 eggs. Let's see here. Okay, so we can't uh, toss all 20 in at a time. It looks like best we can do is eight at a time. And we got those sugar cubes, so we're just going to learn those sugar cubes. But we got 20 of these blaze ones. Uh, we've got a spout here. We're going to just set the spout here. We're going to get uh, one of those depots. No, I'm talking a lot faster than normal, but uh, 
we're we're at that stage where we're about to finish up this pack and you cannot just click this in here we're gonna need to take a pipe connect it to this infinite lava source that we have already right here get a uh, we'll take the wrench make sure that it's piping into there and we're gonna just set this down and put those 20 on there and it's gonna make these lace cakes for us. Very quick, very simple. Uh, we need these Baltic amulets. And I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the Baltic amulets do not stack, so. but the blaze cakes do. Uh, so we're gonna come over here, look at the blaze cake recipe, which is three, seven. So remember this is nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, shift, right click that with an empty hand to pull that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. And that is all the blaze cakes for this. The four compact machines go right in the center like so with one of these ultimate research tiers. And then uh, we just need to place the Baltic uh, amulets on here. So let's grab some more Baltic amulets. Enough to fill up the inventory. That should be more than enough, I'm hoping. Uh, what, do, what, what do you have, sir? Bone splitter? Huh? I, I don't care that you're invisible right now. I will get you as soon as you become visible. All right, and yeah, now we hit this with the, uh -huh. we hit this. We hit this button here. Huh? And, oh, we also get the uh, Voltic Amulets back. Huh? That is unique. That is kind of unique. Huh? Never seen a uh, one of those recipes give back part of it. But now we can take these creative tanks of creative blaze cakes here and go down to these guys. And right click them. I'd have to remove them, but yeah, th they would be able to become the blue blazes. What in the blue blazes? So, yep, we've got a creative blaze cake. The next one is this creative generator where we're going to need what? One, two, three, four, five, twenty energy cell nitros. 
uh, energy cell nitros, and I said 20 of those. Oh, and they do not stack, so we'll have to remember that. Uh, one, six, 12 of these ultimate energies, so. And, and they also do not stack, so. Four, five, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to turn off the uh, giving us energy. The wireless. We need to turn off the wireless. Uh, chargers, chargers, charge. Wireless charge. Okay, so let's get some more of these ultimate. Uh, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's toss some of this to into me. Eleven. Uh, we don't need this right now, and twelve of those. Let's uh, place these energy cubes onto this. It goes one, two, one, two, and three of those. Two and three. One, two. I grabbed one too many of these. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so energy. The 20 of these guys. Let's grab as many of them as we can. So one, two, three, four, five. Almost got all of this done. Uh, energy, got those remaining seven. Uh, grab what? One, two, eight Gaia spirits. Those will go into the corner of these. And in those, in the center of this, we're going to need thermal, therm, thermal generator nitros. I can English, uh, four of them. Uh, Antimatter and ultimate. Okay, so it should be this, 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 and this, this here, and the antimatter pellets like so. And 
And there we go. We've got us the creative generator. This is kind of a nice thing. We can uh, take this, say, to where we have all this power. And it should be outputting 2.14 Gs or something like that. It puts out a lot of energy, an infinite amount of energy. That much I do know. So now, on to the last two creative items. The creative fluid disk and the creative storage disks. All right, so the creative storage disk requires saturations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tall by five wide. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, by five watt. Right? Okay, so now around that is Essence of Haven. Like that and now four pieces of antimatter and one of these ultimate research right in the center All right now if we hit this button see that how fast it makes this and now we've got a creative storage disk. Let's see, I have never used the creative storage disks, so we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna remove all of that. We're gonna put this creative storage disks in. Okay, I'm not sure what all this has in it from those two. So let's go grab those cables. And it's still going up in items. I'm not sure what it has. Oh, okay, it's getting those type of things. Okay, so it has unlimited storage. That, that is fantastic. Uh, what was it? X. Which one of these had stuff? In there we go. So now, if we create another. No, 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 sir. No, no. Um. So I guess the creative fluid disk just allows us to store an indefinite amount of fluid. Well, that's good to know. So with that being all done here, guys, I think this is a good place to wrap up this pack. And I'll tell you guys, I enjoyed playing this pack with you guys on stream. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we actually got the rest of this stuff.
Um, I, I really feel like this pack has a lot to offer and so many different ways of playing it. So if you guys have played this pack, share a link down below with, with your link uh, if you showed it onto YouTube. I would like to see it. Um, and until next time, until next pack, Later, Gators.